and do a full body power yoga session slash workout. Goal here is to really um, strengthen those muscles at the same time with the gentle practice of yoga. So again, and like always, if you need to modify because it is too much, it gets too hard, you're out of breath or it's too much on your muscle, please take a break, take a child's pose or just pause the video and yeah, continue later. But don't ever push yourself. The goal here is only to go that little bit more than you used to. Um, like a little bit, pushing yourself just that little bit, but still being very present in your body and really conscious of how your body feels. And if it's too much, accept it. Okay, so I'm here said, imagine yoga studio. I have all my equipment behind me, but you won't need any of those today. So yeah, I'm on top of the timer. Don't need to take care of anything. You just need to follow along with me like we are some nice yoga buddies. So this is gonna be a nice, 15, 20 minute uh, power session. So not too long, perfect for those days where you just can't be bothered to go run for an hour, even though we all have time and money to have. Hmm, I don't like it, you may not like it. Let's get started. So as always, we're gonna start with a little sun salutation to warm our whole body up. If you don't know and you're not familiar with sun salutation, just follow along with me. Take a side into ground, down, really ground your feet, um, all parts of your feet really feeling into the ground, into the mat to really stabilize yourself. You can take a little move on the front of your feet and the back of your feet and the sides just to feel that everything is really grounded. So here we're going to try to breathe through our nose and in our bellies. So if it gets too hard, of course, you can take a breath through the mouth, of course, but we're really going to try to breathe it through the nose. So let's try to get grounded in the breathing. Do you really feel your belly expand as you breathe in? And does it go back down as you breathe out? So inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, go all the way down. And you can always bend the knees here if it's too hard, if you are not um, necessarily as flexible. Breathe in, straighten the back. You can always just um, bend your knees here, but you really have to get your back as straight as you can. Breathe out, fall back in, and we're going to hop or step your feet to a plank position. So if you're going to hop your feet, you can look a bit more like this. And if you're going to step your feet, just gently step your feet to a plank position. We're gonna warm up our core here, staying in a nice and strong mind to really get everything fired off and started. In yoga, the core is such an important part of the practice. If you don't have a strong core, you're gonna struggle with everything in yoga. The balance, the ex all the exercises and the poses. Make sure that you really push through your shoulder blades and that you keep your back straight. Be careful to not slouch in your shoulder blades like this, to really stay in a nice, strong one. Now we're gonna to go to a chaturanga. So we're gonna go into some push-ups. So yoga push-ups are push-ups where you elbow them really close to the body. If this is too hard, go on your knees like this, and then lower yourself down, but not all the way down. So either on your knees or on your feet, lower halfway down, flip your toes, and up to upward facing dog. Upward facing dog. 
slowly make your way to So we're going to take three of those sun salutations, going a bit faster than the second and third one. This is just to really show you how we've done, if you were not familiar with it already. So for the first salutation dog, you can do all sorts of movement that feels good. You can pose with your feet, like so. You can take a wobble of the head, let the head go. You can bend your knees if it's too much, just bend your knees. The important thing is that you almost imagine that your um, armpits face each other so that you look at each other. So you turn your shoulders in. That's what important is important in this pause. So we're going to step or hop your feet forward between your hands. If you're going to hop, it's going to look a bit like this. And if you're going to step, Easily step all the way back and you can bend your knees if it is just too hard. Hold and help bring all the way in. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Down. Monkey stretching back. Hold. Hop or step your feet all the way back to plank. And hold. You're gonna left, lift your right foot up and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lift your left foot up, make sure to really stay strong and straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower to Chaturanga, halfway on your knees or on your feet, upward facing dog. Take one big breath and we're going to hop our feet, our feet forwards. Hold. Long pause. Exhale. One more. Monkey, stretch your back. Hold. Step your feet all the way back into a plank. So we're going to take those push ups and we're going to come back up. Either on your knees or on your feet, however you feel is better for you. Halfway, stay there for a second. Push back up. We're going to do this three times. Halfway. Exhale, push back up. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, push back up. And this fourth one, we are going to go all the way down and push back to upper facing dog. It is really hard to talk and do this at the same time. I have so much more respect for all of these people that do at home workouts or YouTube yoga. Ah, I'm not as good as I thought. <laughs> Anyway, the goal is not to be perfect here, it's just to do the best you can. So we're going to hop our feet or step them again in the middle, hold. Take a little moment to really feel the stretch here. So you can either let yourself hang, grabbing both elbows, or you can Either you can also always bend your knees, it's always an option. You can grab uh, your ankles and pull yourself a gently, gently in. Making sure that you stay, you, you try to keep your back as straight as possible. Rounding your back doesn't help so much. If you really keep your back straight, that's where it really has a lot of stretch. And up again. we're going to bend in our knees and we're really going to feel like all of these muscles, the glutes and the thighs really power to keep us in this position. Really hold everything in here, hold your back in and 
You really make sure your rib cage space is really nice and close to really engage your core. This position is really tricky. It may seem really simple, but it engages so many things and it's really hard to get it perfectly right. You know, I always struggle to get it right. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we're going to lift our right foot up. So stay on your left foot. Three, two, one. Keep down. And go on your right foot, lifting your left foot. Three, two, one. Going to take your hand to the heart center. Stay in this bent position, engaging your glutes, your legs, everything. You're going to take a twist. Woo. Put your elbow on your right elbow on your left knee. Push yourself on the side. Really push it open as much as you can. You can really feel it in the glutes already. I do. Feel it in the glutes and the legs. Back to the middle, and we're going to go to the other side. Good. Keep your left elbow on your right knee and push yourself up. Go back to your um, end of position. And we're going to straighten them and go all the way down. Take a breather, straighten your back, and then we're going to hop our step and then lower ourselves to Chaturanga. Breathe on your knees, on your feet, up facing dog, and down facing dog. Right now we're going to take our leg up, really open through your hips, so you push your leg as far up as possible. And you're going to bring it to the right elbow. Bring it up. Bring it to the left angle, twisting as you go. Bring it up. Bring your knee to your right elbow. We're going to do this three times. Bring it up. To your left elbow. Bring it up. Last set. Bring it to your right elbow. Bring it up. And to your left elbow. Bring it up. Put your right leg down and your left leg up. Bring it to the left elbow. Bring it up. To the right elbow. Bring it up. Left elbow, bring it up, and the right elbow, bring it up, to the left elbow again, last set, bring it up, to the left elbow, bring it up, let it go, lift your leg and breathe into a warrior one. So where you want, we're going to have the heel of um, the arch of your foot aligned with the heel of your front foot. It doesn't have to be such a big stance. Just make sure your hips are facing forward. You can go on your um, toes here. To make it a little bit deeper, make sure as your hips still face forward. We're going to go to warrior two, open your legs. You can take a little bit of a wider stance. Look forward, engage everything. And lift your warrior. To really take a nice big opening to the right side body. And then we are going to go, you can either put your hand on your knee and extend over your left side. Or put your hand on the floor like this, either in front or behind your knee, depending on how it feels that where it feels best. And then extend over your side. Really 
yourself back up to warrior two and take yourself up to a star. star. Squat down for goddess. It's called goddess, so you have to pay respect to the goddess. Be your own goddess. So you really squat down, you should feel that your glutes really engage, but keep your core really strong as always. So we're gonna pulse here. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring yourself back up to the star and then down to your squat really deep for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back up and we're gonna go on our left left side or you two hold for a second make sure to uh, really engage your core here engage your glutes if you're a warrior extend your front body more like your left side body and then lower down either on your elbow or on the floor open it up We're on the way back to warrior two, and we're going to go back to warrior one. So turn yourself facing the other way, keep your back foot really planted on the floor, your hip facing forward this time, and a bit of a less wide stance. Oh, over here, oh, everywhere. And then square everything, and we're going to go back to our chaturanga. Hold your plank for five, four, three, two, one. Lower yourself down, upward facing dog, down facing dog, and take a breather. Better than go first thing. So we're going to do the same. So turn again, as you know, you're facing the wrong side of your mat. So we're going to turn again. Lift your right leg up, plant it in the middle of your feet. Warrior one. So we're going to go a little bit faster on the side. We're going to take a warrior two. Widen your stance a little bit. Lift your warrior. And on your elbow on the floor, extend your warrior. Go back to warrior two and to star. Squat down, lower yourself really low. And we're gonna pulse for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower yourself down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. One. Bring yourself all the way back up. Go to warrior two on your left side. Bring it up. Lift your warrior. And go all the way forward. Extend your warrior. You can again stay on your knee if this is too low. Bring your warrior back up. And let's go to warrior one. For everything, and we're gonna go to our plank. Bring your right leg up for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Bring your left leg up for five, four, three, two, one. Make sure you breathe through every exercise, not like me. And we're gonna go to a side plank. Open up to your right side and Hold yourself up, your hips really high. You can take any variation you want. You can lift your leg up for a star. You can bring your leg right here. Or you can just stay your feet stacked together. And we're gonna take 
five drops of the hips. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Amazing for the obliques. Let's go back to plank. Four, five. Four. Three. Two. One. Side plank. Left side. Take any variation. Leg up. Leg on your side leg here, or you could stay together. I want to take those drops. Five, four, three, two, one. When you do this, make sure that you really drop your um your hip all the way down and bring all the way back up. Four, five. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna lower ourselves down. Back up. Upper facing dog. And a downward facing dog. Good breather here. We're gonna go um we're gonna seat it now. You can jump or step yourself to seat it. So when you are on the floor, so you can just as easily step your step to a seated position as stretchy as possible. And we're gonna go to a boat. So bend your knees and boat. And we're gonna go to some boat Russian twist right here. It's really, really we're gonna core today. The core is fired up, I know. So we'll take ten, nine. And hold. Ooh, I'm sitting on my sit bone. It's not comfortable right there. <laughs> and take again. And ten. Nine. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. It's okay to have a wobble. I always have wobbles. And hold. I'm really warm. Really hot. Hope you are too means it's working. So if you're really feeling it today, you can straighten your legs and straighten your arms and hold. Or you just stay in your bent position. Hold. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And we are going to bend our knees and step or hop to a plank position. Hop to a plank position, lower down to chaturanga and push yourself back up. Again, there's always the option of staying on your knees for this. Lower yourself down, push yourself back up. If you're really feeling strong, on your toes. Lower yourself down, push yourself back up. This is not a regular push up. You don't want your elbows to go on the side. Really make sure that they actually touch your side. Or they're really close to your side. And push yourself back up. We're gonna do one more. Bear with me, go on your knees if this is too much. Push yourself. And the last one we're going to go all the way to our upper facing dog. Down facing dog. <sighs> yes, I know. I know, I know, I know. And we're going to hop to a seat again. Seated. But we're slowly going lower down all the way to our backs right now. <sighs> and take a last core exercise. Take your knees to a 90 degree angle, your hands um, in front of you, and we are going to do some drops of the right leg and the right arm, like this, very slow and controlled. The important thing right here, this is called the dying bug, so you probably look like a dying bug. <laughs> the important thing here is to really keep this part, the three bones right here, pubic bone and hip bones, you keep them on the same level. So you need to keep this slight arch in the back, your natural arch. Ooh, I love seeing it. Otherwise, you may damage your pelvic floor. It's really important to keep this arch just a slow arch, a, a small arch, your natural arch. I said arch way too many times. <laughs> slow and controlled. But you, it's really important as well that you keep your belly button really pulling into the spine. Just hug everything in. Just hug everything in. Take a happy baby. The happy baby, you just take the sides of your feet with your
nice compression. And we rock side to side. Breathe in. Take knee to 90 degree angle and drop them to the left side, keeping your right arm on the floor for a nice twist. Bring them up and we're going to do the other side. Drop them to the right and move to the left. Make sure your shoulder, your left shoulder, your heel stays grounded on the mat. Bring your tail back up and we're going to walk all the way up to a seated position. Rock as many times as possible. I actually do not rock on the back. It can be really nice. There you go. Rock until you build enough momentum. Take yourself up. Go to any position that you feel comfortable in. It can be the seated position right here. It can be a kneeling position if you don't like cross leg. It can be the lotus pose. Anything. I just like this. I think it's a nice um, stretch on your legs. But then again, you do whatever is comfortable for you. Bring your arms, uh, your arms, your hands face down or face up on your knees, whatever feels more natural to you. Let them breathe and we're going to take one really releasing breath. I'm not sure what a releasing breath is. We're going to inhale as much as you can in your belly and you release everything through the mouth. Making as much noise or as little noise as you want. <clears throat> One more. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for joining. And I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you do. I would love to post more of these. And uh, yeah, I hope I proved you that it was easy to move your body from home. And well, thank you again. May you have peace in your day as it goes forward. Namaste. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye.